Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to create high DA trusted niche relevant backlinks. I know that's one of the biggest pains that most SEOs have, and in today's video, we're going to be going over that. If you don't know me and you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is William Jones. I have 20 years of SEO experience. If you have not already done so, please hit subscribe below, turn on the bell notification. That way you're notified every time we go live because we go live probably seven days a week, dropping two videos a day, 14 videos a week. And you don't want to miss out on any of the golden nuggets we drop. We have people on here like Chris Palmer, myself, Jason, Mike Merlino, Brent Bowles, or Patrick Shannon, a lot of top industry leaders, especially in local SEO. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you're not aware of it, there is dear friend of mine named Holly Stark. She has a website called hollystarks.com. If you've never been to it, check out in the description below <coughs> for her link to the website. She has her store, but in specific today, we're going to be talking about her news network. All right, so her news network, if you go to it, she has a couple of plans. It's essentially, she's creating thousands of Google News websites, right? Each of these news websites, each of these plans give you a certain amount of posts a day <clears throat> or a month. Anything from one post a day to four posts a day. And she even has unlimited plans, believe it or not, which I'm actually on the unlimited plan. And what I want to show you today is how to take a blog and then embed that onto the Google News site. Also, how we take the YouTube stack or a YouTube optimized video and embed that as well. And daisy chain everything we're doing. <clears throat> First thing is we have our blog, right? So we have our blog. We can choose any one we want. Let's go with this one. All right. We already have the YouTube we've created. The stack is in here. If you go to view this on YouTube, you'll see that this entire thing is optimized. Okay. When I say optimized, I mean all the hashtags, the title, the timestamps, the share links, the Google share links, everything under the sun that you could possibly think of, right? So everything's here. You know, so that's already there inside the blog. Also inside the blog, we have, if you will, the internal linking. We have the hot inlinked, if you are hot linked images from the Google assets, right? We have everything here. So what do we do with this? Now that we got the blog, now that we got the, if you will, the YouTube stack, the next step before actually putting this into a press release is we're going to take this and we're going to put this on Google News site. How do we do this? We go create article after we log in, right? Paste it. You know, that's all you really do. You paste it. We're going to go back here. We're going to copy all of this, all the hot linked images, everything. All we're simply doing is copying everything that we got here. And what we're doing is we're creating a chain or a daisy chain in between the article, the press release, the YouTube stack, everything's daisy chained together. So Google's gonna see, if you will, authority and trust. We come back here, we simply control V and paste it. That's all we do, right? Go back through here, make sure, you know, these classes and stuff like this is not here, not getting any crazy code or anything like that. We just kind of want, if you will, the data, if you will, the text, you know, sometimes whenever you copy and paste it, it'll have this stuff in here, but this is from our assets. So it's not going to be a problem. Um, I'm not telling you to go copy someone's crap and just slap it up there. You're actually copying your own stuff and putting it up there. Now there are two ways to embed, if you will, the YouTube. First way is the easy way. You just hit share, go grab this link. You're going to come in here. You're going to go insert media <clears throat> and I just simply choose the source code, which is the video and hit save. Voila, done, right? I can use the arrow. I can drag it out bigger if I want or not. Now let's say instead of doing that, I want to do some, if you will, sneaky stuff. Um, we come over here and we go to embed. We grab the embed code and I don't know if you've ever seen it, but in between these little two Pac-Mans or this iframe, I can actually insert other sneaky tactics if I wanted to. 
Okay, sneaky tactics being keyword stuffing, taking a compet taking a competitor's web page and stuffing it in there. I mean, all types of things you can do. Okay. Um, but what we're going to do, we're just going to take this right here, this iframe. We go back into here. We hit, if you will, view source code. And then I'm going to come up to the top and I'm simply going to control V. If I was going to put anything in iframe, I would just come in here between the two little pack bands and insert whatever I'm going to put there. And I hit save. All right. Now I'll stretch this out to be a decent size that I want. And I hit create article. That's it. That is absolutely it. The only thing I do next is I'm gonna go, okay, I wanna post the article. Where do I wanna post the article? So since Holly's awesome, what we have in here is we're gonna have multiple, multiple niches that you can put in. In specific, this is going to be, if you will, a roofer. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to choose the roofing category and we're gonna then place it inside the roofer category, All right? Um, you can view the article, check it out, make sure it looks good. We chose a niche that was in roofing. Looks great. It's perfect. All right. So let's go back out here. If you have any questions or want my SOP regarding how to do this, my standard operating procedure on how to actually post this, make sure to comment below and I will get that over to you. Okay. Um, I literally have it laid out step by step by step by step as a standard operating procedure. So make sure to comment below and I will send that over to you. If you guys have any other questions regarding um, Google News Sites and why they're authoritative, one of the things I would tell you is, for instance, it is a Google asset. So the difference between this and going somewhere and buying a backlink is these are high DA domain name authority and trusted, more importantly, by Google links to other websites, right? Um, so that's why they're going to be important. So what we do is we come back in here. This is for a roofing company. We choose, for example, roofing roofers daily. I hit, I certify that I own this content because we're not posting plagiarized content. We're not copying someone's stuff. Um, we're, this is content we've written. And then we hit post article. You get one post per category. You can't come in here and go, let me just drop the same post across the same category multiple times. If you wanted to view the post, you hit view. Also, um, just FYI, all these posts, once you come in here and you sign up for um, Holly's News Network, everything is tied to a Google API. So what happens is the post is submitted. Once it's submitted, it is then sent over to a mega indexer and it is indexed inside of Google. So that's how the Holly's News or Google News Network works. If you have any further questions, make sure to comment below if you would like my standard operating procedure in which I go step by step by step and how we use Holly's News Network. I hope this video was informative for you today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me SEO Black Cat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO guys. White hat SEO doesn't make sense.